What is the creepiest thing that made you question reality? Years ago, my then wife and I would run into the same woman everywhere we went. And I mean everywhere we went. This went on for about a year. Go to the grocery store? She would be there shopping. Starbucks? Yep, sitting right behind us. Walking around the mall? She would pass us walking in the other direction. Movie theater? She'd be behind us in line getting popcorn. The creepiest encounter was while driving on the freeway. My wife looked at the car next to us and screamed. Yep, it was her. She was always alone, never talked to us, and always made eye contact. She had a very unique appearance. She was very tall, very thin, and had very tight skin on her face. It was so unusual that we joked that we were being studied by an alien. It was some serious glitch in the Matrix stuff. It was years ago, when I was about 17. I had gotten home from school and wasn't feeling well so I spent the rest of the day just laying on the couch. By about 8 p I was feeling even worse and decided I should just try to sleep whatever it is off so I go to my room and get in bed and pass out pretty quickly. I don't know how long I was asleep, but I suddenly woke up in my pitch black bedroom and all I could think was I'm going to die right now. My body was so weak, the room was spinning and my body felt like it was on fire. I look over to the edge of my bed and sitting on the edge is my grandmother, who died just a few months ago. She pats my arm and says it's going to be okay. Just call for your dad. Try it. Call for your dad. So I start calling for him and it felt like an eternity but he finally bursts through my door and asks what's wrong. I look over and my grandmother is gone. After that, he gets me up and takes me to the ER where I have a fever of 106F which explains a lot. I had to get a ton of fluids and a shot in my hip but I eventually felt okay-ish. Her being there felt so real. It was so weird. When I was 12 or so and still living at my parents' house I woke up in the middle of the night to pee. I got to the bathroom and heard what sounded like a party going on downstairs. Laughter, music, the sound of glasses being knocked together for a toast. I thought it was weird that my parents had friends over so late and hadn't told me, but I decided to go and see who was there. Opened the door to the kitchen and the entire downstairs was completely dark and silent, not even a TV on. I was thoroughly confused but the strangeness of the situation didn't really register, so I never told anyone. Years and years later I mentioned this to my dad and he said he had heard them too. Turns out there used to be a small public bar in their home, which is over 150 years old. I guess some of the patrons decided to hang out for eternity. My cat hated me for the first seven years we had him. He was a feral that was tamed by my wife, and only accepted affection from her. My wife assured me that this was common for ferals. Then one day he suddenly warmed up to me, and wanted my to pet him. We've been best friends ever since. This was approximately four years ago, about the time that my wife's brain cancer was becoming aggressive. Even before we were aware of it. She died two years ago. It's like he knew it was just going to be the two of us one day. I'm the type of person who keeps my bedroom door closed and locked all the time no matter what even if I'm home alone. So like a year ago, it was 1 a.m. and I had decided to get a glass of water before going to bed. After coming back in my room I swore that I closed and locked my door. After about 30 minutes of me dozing in and out of sleep, I suddenly felt all the ambient noise completely dissipate and immediately got that something feels off feeling. I got up and saw that my door was wide open. It scared the shit out of me as I was home alone. I've just chalked it up to being a one-time mishap on my part. I hailed a lift because I was too drunk to drive. Car pulled up, I got in and was like take me to 123 home st. Phone rings. I answer and here I'm your lift driver, I just watched you get into a car and that is not your lift, you need to get out right now, neat. Hey but I'm getting a friend to pick me up thanks anyway. Hopped out at the red light we were stopped at. The driver and I talked about how one of the reasons we didn't have lift in my city for a while was because girls were getting kidnapped and forced into sex trafficking. So now since these guys can't use rideshare apps they're preying on drunk girls that they see on the street hailing a ride and just pick them up. Thankfully I got into the front seat because the back might have had a child lock on. Asked the driver to make sure I got into my house before driving away since old creeper had my address. Went to pick up my car the next day and not only did I not get sex trafficked, I didn't get a parking ticket either, so that was cool. I had two bananas, connected at the stem part broke them into two, ate one, threw out the peel, 
came back for the other one and it's gone. I live alone. Either I have a rotting banana somewhere in my app drive gone crazy. It has been weeks, haven't seen slash smelled the other banana. I'll accept that I just went bananas for that moment. When I was a kid between 8 or 9, I used to wake up every night to headlights coming through my bedroom window. The lights would then would stop and turn off, not as if a car drove by but as if they were turned off. Then the long shadows of a man, as if were looking through my window would pass by and stop in front of my window. I would lay really still and pretend nothing happened, every night for months. Eventually I convinced myself it was imagination. Now that I think back it stopped when my stepdad moved in, my mom was single, but I was convinced it wasn't real. Across the street lived my best friend whose mom was also single and she refused to sleep in her bedroom. Her window faced my window. She told me years later it was because every night a man would park in her side yard and walk over to my yard. The long shadows were from the light in her yard. She eventually decided it was my dad checking on us and never told me until I was a teenager. It wasn't my dad. I was playing with our dog in the living room. At the time I was around 9 years old. We were doing our usual only play like this when mom isn't home else she'll tell us to stop type of playing. So basically playing fetch in the living room. At one point I threw the toy which caused it to ricochet out of the living room into the kitchen. My dog chased it and disappeared around the corner to get it. At that exact moment the front door opened and mom walked in with my dog on a leash after a two hour walk over the beach. I tried to explain, but can. I played with him for at least 15 minutes in, apparently. My imagination, but I just don't believe that. I worked at a small retail shop that sold mostly small accessories and clothes. I have never really believed in ghosts but my coworkers always swore the place was haunted. Lights would flicker randomly and canvases would fall violently to the ground despite my efforts of propping them up so that they didn't. The thing that really made me question everything happened when I was closing alone at night. We had a sunglass display in the middle of the store. Just a flat glass shelf with a bunch of sunglasses laid out nicely on top. I walk past it to the register and hear this huge crash. Look back and all of the sunglasses were on the floor. It looked like somebody just took their arm and dragged it across the shelf pushing them all off. There wasn't anything above the display so nothing could have knocked it off. I don't have an explanation for it. I dreamed it was dark, raining and I was in the woods walking towards a campfire. There were three men around it whom I had never seen before. One was wearing a shirt and pants with huge white and black horizontal stripes on it such as a prisoner might wear. I could not figure out why I was not scared in my dream. Fast forward 10 months later, we're hunting and camping. A friend brings along three of his friends that we had never met before. I have to go to the bathroom, buried a 50-gallon drum and put a seat on it, and my husband walks with me since it's dark. We start back and it starts to rain. We get to the clearing and there are his three friends around the fire, one wearing the outfit described above. I wasn't afraid in my dream because my husband was behind me and I just couldn't see him. No one believes me. Talking with my son when he was 3 or 4 years old while he was playing with a Darth Vader toy in his mom's lap. Talking about the Wiggles or a Barney or whatever. Completely unprompted, he said nonchalantly Dingo Cold. Dingo Cold. And goes back to playing with his Star Wars toys. I asked him what he said and he denied saying anything with a giggle. My wife very clearly heard him say Dingo Cold too. I never told him about my childhood best friend, Dingo, being killed in an avalanche 10 years earlier. The first one was a UFO. I saw a light streak across the sky, make a 90 degree turn and streak away until it vanished. Years later I learned that it was probably just an asteroid breaking up. Put that one to rest. Once, when I was about 8, we were driving along a road in the back country, and I was staring out the window, and in the distance in a field I saw a silvery slash green glowing cloud that was completely unnatural. It suddenly moved, almost ran, towards the road then up a tree just as we were passing it. As we climbed a hill, I saw it drop from the tree onto the road and float back into the fields. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.